ne modello di a strong tower the righteous run into it and bear a saved the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run into it and bear a Viewers all over the world. Aba tulaba munsi yonna. Good morning. Ama chama lunji. A simple topic today. Omutwe gwa fomu wangu ogwa lero. Step into faith. Sinde chigere cho mukukiriza. And speak his word. Oyogere chigambo che. This is where complication comes from. Wano obuzibu webuva. Once somebody begin a prayer, Omuntu watandike sala, he begin by speaking his own words. Atandika na kuogera bigambo byeye. And looking at his own ability. Eranga atunulira obusobozi bweye. And his disabilities. Nebi atasobola kola. His weaknesses. Obunafu bwe. That is not faith. A foot which has stepped into faith will not speak on its behalf. That, that man will speak on God's behalf. Because he is not the one who is going to do the work. God will do the work. You step into faith. Expecting God to do what he promised to do. Once you step into faith. God's promises are with you. So his work is to do what he promised. Then if you know that you are not the one who is going to do it, you start imagining how great, how powerful, how good God is. Look at these two men at a confrontation. And one wants to kill the other. But listen to what happened. I'm reading first Samuel. Chapter 17. Verse 44. And the first hand said to David, Come to me and I will give your fresh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Listen, 45. Then David said to the first ten, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day, the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you and this day i'll give the carcasses of the camp of the feast end to the birds of the air and the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a god in israel then all this assembly shall know that the lord does not save with the sword and spear for the battle is the lord's and he will give you into our hands Omufilisu tina gamba Daudi nti, jangu jendi, ngabiromu bili guo enyonyezo mubanga, nesorezo musiko. Awo Daudi na gamba omufilisu tinti, oja jendi, nechitala noru nyago, nefumu. Na yeze nsija joli, mulinyari ya mukama oweje, katondo oweje liya isira hili, dioso mozeza. Lero, mukama ana kukabula mukono guange, elana kukuba, neku jako mutuwe guo, elana gabila nyonyezo mubanga, Neso lezo musiko, emirambo ejeje eliaba filisuti. Ensizo nazi tegere, nga mulimu katonda mu israeli. Elachibi na chinocho nazi tegere, nga mukama talo kola na chitala na fumu. Kubango lutalo, luwa mukama, ya naba kabula mukono gwafe. 
To God be the glory. What is going on in your life? S stop trusting in your own own self. In your own ability. Stop looking at your weakness. Because you are not the one who is going to do it. God will do it for you. He said this day the Lord will give you into our hands. Because the war is not mine. You are fighting with the Lord. The creator of heaven and the earth. So with this issue now. Your sickness. Is no longer your sickness. It is his sickness. The Lord today will fight. The Lord today will fight. With that sickness in no, your body, no, no, no. just now surrender your hand which is sick. And say to that sickness in the hand, you sickness, today, this day, the Lord will remove you from my hand. You, 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 fibroids. This day, the Lord Jesus Christ will remove you from my stomach and take you out, and I'll be healed. He has never said that we should pray in our own name. Neither work in our own capacity. 14, 13, and 14 of John. He said, in my name, with my authority, then why do you trouble too much and worry too much? As if you are the one who is going to heal yourself. Once you say in the name of Jesus, it means it is Jesus who is going to do it. Once you step into faith, surrender the rest to Jesus. Lord, I surrender. 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 All oh, to Jesus. All oh, to Jesus. My blessed Savior. I surrender. Surrender your body. Why you moving to To Christ Jesus. Every Christ Jesus. Surrender. Your family. Why your family? Yo. Unto Jesus. Eri Yesu. That all whatever is concerning your family. Until you never, never, never quit again on your family. Yo. Your finances. Eri Yesu nabiyo. Belongs to the Lord. Yo nabiyo amukama. And say to yourself. Eri we gambe. Today, today, today. All who are alone. You, 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 poverty in my life. We go go avumbula muwang. The Lord Jesus Christ will approve to you. Mukama wanga Yesu Christo again. And you never come back into my life. Then you begin to speak that poverty. You poverty in my life. Be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Who approves it? Christ Jesus. And if you say, I approve to you, not in your name, not in your powers, that is where people get confused. I speak to you in Jesus' name. Mm, it is true. But the authority you are using must be of Jesus. Speak to that condition. You, you joblessness. You, you joblessness. The Lord will remove you. The Lord Jesus Christ will remove you from my life and you never come back again. Now begin to order that.
the removal of that joblessness in Jesus name in all whatever you do once you step into faith let the hand of God move you let your trust or your ability be the Lord's ability let all your words be his words because Ezekiel was moved not by himself. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel was moved by the hand of the Lord. And when he reached over there, he was told what to say. Mm. I'm reading 37 verse 5 Ezekiel. Thus said the Lord God to these bones. Surely I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. Bwati mukama katonda, bwagamba magumba ganonti, laba, ni ingizo muka mumwe, kale muli baba la mu. Ezekiel's appearance there. Standing over there. Was to witness the Lord's doing. Kwali kujuli dankola ya mukama. Your presence in this condition is just witness the working of God. Whether you are sick today, you are just a witness. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm here to witness your workings because I know you can do it. Give me the grace to tell the others that you can do it. I know, I know, I know, I know that Jesus is my Savior. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that Jesus is my Savior. I know, I know, I know. He is a healer. Once you call him into your life, you are not the one who is going to heal yourself. He will heal you. Because he has the power to heal. You are to witness how he is healing you. Now begin to speak a word of faith. The woman said, if I only touch his garment, I'll be healed. If I only touch his garment, I'll be healed. These are the words of faith. I don't know whether I will get healed. I don't know whether I will to be. No! Have faith in God. Your was it to touch the garment. Your was it to speak his word. I'm reading Mark 528 of Mark. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Kubanga ya gamba nti, Bwenkuma kubu kubi kubiamba lobye, Na wana, Amangu wago, Nesuro yomu saine kalira, Na tegera mubili gwe, Nga wanye zebwa echibono bonoche. Immediately. Amangu wago. You too, you can say, the same word. I mean the word of faith. If I will only believe his word and touch my stomach and say, Jesus, the pain will go. Hey, it will go. Touch your stomach. Where you feel the pain. Say, Jesus. Thank you. For healing me. I receive you. Jesus Christ. Into my life. I believe. Your healing. Thank you, Jesus. For healing me. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. 
It is so fast. Because you are not the healer. But the moment you begin to meditate and to think so much on how you are going to be healed, knowing how far you have been sick, you begin now to gather the unbelief. Begin now to forget how far you have been sick. And now expect how much he can heal. Remember the animals in the forest. They have no maternity. No midwifery. But he heals them. They have no hospital. What about you? Be healed in Jesus' soul. 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 In Jesus soul. In Jesus soul. Receive your healing. And the healing I'm talking about, it is not only physical pain. So many people, they have no physical pain, but they have pain at heart. Somebody has no physical pain. But the heart is sick. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say my heart. Today. Jesus is healing you. My heart. Today. Jesus is healing you. Be healed in Jesus name. My heart. My heart. My heart. Whatever made my heart sick. All the thoughts made my heart sick. All the troubles made my heart sick. Jesus is healing you. Yes, Jesus is healing you now. Jesus is healing you now. Jesus is healing you. My heart be here. My heart be here. My heart be here. My heart be here. In Jesus' holy name. You, my finances. Christ Jesus is healing you. Is healing you now. Is healing you now. Whatever the debts you had accumulated, you my finances. Christ Jesus is paying the debts. Thank you, Jesus, you are paying my 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 debts. Thank you, Jesus, you are paying. Put the situation that you are seeing him doing it. Because you are not the one who is going to do it. Thank you, Jesus, you are paying my debt. 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 Look at him. I know you will go to town to look for a job. But uh, see yourself that he is there giving you a job. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for giving me a job. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me a job. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me a job. Thank you, Jesus, for, me job. Thank you, Jesus, for doing it for me. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me a job. Thank you, Jesus, for doing it for me. Thank you, Jesus, for doing it for me. In your name, Jesus. He never said that you do it by yourself. He said, if you ask anything in my name, I'm the one who do it. That the Father may be glorified through the Son. But when you begin to think, I'm going to build a house. Uh, where will I get the plot? Say to yourself, You, my life, My personality, The Lord Jesus Christ, Is going to give you money. And you'll be able to build a house. Speak to yourself, you, my personality, the Lord Jesus Christ will give you money. This is what he will do. He will buy you a plot. This is what he will do. He will build you a good house. In Jesus' name. Begin even to draw the plan. Start imagining how you enter the house. How you get out the house, your garage. 
Because you will not do it, he will do it for you. To go be the glory. Stepping into faith is speaking faith. Not believing whatever happened on you. Stepping into faith meaning stepping into miracle. Let a miracle life begin in your life. Let miracles begin to be performed in your life. Let you begin to witness as you step into faith. Say Lord Jesus, give me the grace to step into faith. Pray. Lord Jesus, give me the grace to step into faith. Lord Jesus, give me the grace to step into faith. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Lord Jesus, give me the grace to step into faith. Lord Jesus, give me the grace to speak faith, to talk faith, speak faith. Give me the grace to step into faith. Lord Jesus, give me more grace to step into faith, to speak faith, to think faith. In Jesus' holy name, prayer. Prayer, prayer. Step, step into faith. Step into faith. Believing that Christ Jesus will do it for you. Not you. Forget your weaknesses. Forget your disability. Believing that Christ Jesus will do it for you. Father, I thank you. We bless your holy name. And Jesus will pray. What is your situation today? Are you sick? What is the sickness? Asthma? Arthritis? Backache? Uh -uh. No. Step into faith. He has promised he will take that asthma away. He will take that asthma away. He will take that cancer away. You will not take it away because you don't have the ability. Speak his word, believing that he will bring it to pass. Let's watch and see our sister Fatima Moti from Malawi. My name is Fatima Modi from Malawi. The problem brought me here is back pain and high blood pressure. And I feel hot in my legs up to the whole body. And uh, my back bones, they are loose like this, doing like this, doing it. That's why I use this thing. And I feel a lot of pain in my back. I can't stand long. I can't sit long. I can't do anything at home. I need someone to assist me. These are my medical reports. This one is from Malawi. This one is from here. This is a medical report from Malmed Healthcare Services in Blantyre, Malawi, which belongs to Lady Fatima Moti. And uh, here her doctor is informing us that this lady has been visiting our clinic since January 2014 and she has got two chronic medical conditions dating way back six years ago. First of all, she's hypertensive and also developed spondylosis. And because of this spondylosis, she has got difficulties with ambulation. She cannot walk well. This was all confirmed and signed by her doctor, Dr. Charles Zamalala the director of Malmed Healthcare Services Limited. In this other medical report, we have the findings from the X-ray that was taken of her lumbar spine. It's a report belonging to Lady Fatuma Mati. 
So here, upon doing this x-ray, they found that there is reduced bone mineralization. They also found that she has got osteophytes. These are growths on the bones of the spine. She has got reduced intervertebral disc spaces. So they made a final conclusion that she's suffering from lumbar straightening with loss of lordosis. She has got abnormal curvature of the spine together with lumbar spondylosis. That is the defatuma. You can clearly see the lumbar corset that she wears for support because the pain in the back is so, so sharp for this period of six years. She cannot rise up or stand or walk without support of this corset. She has got difficulty in sitting for long. That is Lady Fatima from Malawi before the man of God. Already prayer has begun for her in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus Christ who paid the price on the cross at Calvary is touching her life right now. No one is moving her. It is the Holy Spirit who is moving her towards her healing. Let us go. It's time to walk. Go. It's time to walk from sickness to good health. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Watch the lady now. She's moving the lumbar corset. This is what the Lord Jesus has done for her. Pain is something of the past. She's free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I'm healed. I can walk fast. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are free. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank Him. What is your condition today? What is troubling you today? Church kutawanyol walero. Repeat after me. Say, Oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. I believe your salvation. I believe your salvation. I receive you. I receive you. I receive you I receive you into my heart. Into my heart. Into my life. Into my life. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you for your salvation. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe your healing. I believe your healing. I receive you. I receive you into my life. Into my life. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your healing. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Because the one who is going to heal you is Christ Jesus himself. So healing is part of him. Receive him if you want to be healed. Healing is not just particles from Jesus. He is Jesus himself. Because the life he did not live, he spent 33 years on the earth. He spent millions of years. The life he did not live, he left for you to live. The food he did not eat for 40 days, he left it for you to eat for years. The peace is not entertained. He gave it to you. A man of sorrow. Acquainted with grief. He decided to take your grief. So, ask him to enter your life. Whatever he did not use. The man he didn't use. He left it for you. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive you into my life. Thank you for your healing. You, my body, Christ Jesus is healing you. Move, move, move. Christ Jesus is healing you.
Talk to your body. You're my body. Christ Jesus is healing you. You're my body. Christ Jesus is healing you. You're my stomach. Christ Jesus is healing you. You're my stomach. Christ Jesus is healing you. You're my back. Listen to me. Christ Jesus is healing you. You're my legs. Listen to me. In Jesus' name. Christ Jesus is healing you. Tap, tap your legs and say to your legs, You're my legs. Christ Jesus is healing you now. You my head. Eh? Listen to me, you headache. Christ Jesus is healing you. 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 I'm only a witness. You my shoulders. Christ Jesus is healing you. You my chest. Christ Jesus is healing you. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Receive your healing. Receive your your healing. Receive your healing. I receive the healing of your chest. I receive the healing of your stomach. I receive the healing of your throat. I receive the healing of your eyes. I receive the healing of your head. I receive the healing of your stomach. I receive the healing of your legs. I receive the healing of your hands. I receive. Receive your healing. I receive. Be healed. 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 I receive. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. For those who have never touched a coin, I say a million in your pocket. I pray. In Jesus' name. Father, release them. Release money into their hands, into their pockets, into their lives, into their families. Receive prosperity. I receive. Receive prosperity. I receive. Receive prosperity. I receive. Receive prosperity. I receive. In Jesus' mighty name. For that your trouble which is complicated. Pray together. Father in Christ Jesus. Lord you say two or three of us. If we step into faith. Now we are at the platform of faith. That, that, that trouble the brother the sister is mentioning. We bring it to you Jesus. Lord Jesus, thank you for taking away this trouble. Thank you for taking away this debt. Thank you for paying all the debts. Thank you for paying all the debts. Thank you for bringing a good job into our brother's life, into our sister's life. Thank you for putting a good marriage into her life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, bless them all. Father, bless them all. I receive. Father, bless them all. I receive. Father, bless them all. I receive. In Jesus' holy name. Your words will step into faith. His is, is to do what he promised. I can see you succeeding. I can see your projects succeeding. I can see your goals come to pass. I can see you prospering. Father, glorify your holy name. We are witnesses. In Jesus, we pray. May the Lord bless his words. And uh, I told you about our big day on 24th. November. And this means next week. And say that uh, now, as we are rushing to finish the house of God, this is the house of God we are trying to finish. Yes. And uh, now we are in our fundraising. To see that we roof. And you can see in between where we want to roof. Yes. That is why we are putting together our hands. And fundraising.
Eranga tusonda. So within this fundraising, Mukusonda kuno, we are going to come on 24th. Tugenda kujanga na kuzomwe zabiri munya. And uh, there will be a special prayer. Wajakuba we sala, ehe nja ulo. That is a special day. The Lord will touch you in a way has never touched you. Even before you come, if you're ready, you see this in the dream. The Lord will touch you. Yes. And uh, we who are coming to contribute, we are coming with 600,000 Uganda shillings. In Kenya shillings is 18,000. In dollars, 150 dollars. Yes. So, let us come. Many. Yes. Come early because people will be many. Mujenga buchali kuwanga bantu baje kuba banji. And uh, we shall start early. Tujja kutandika nga buchali. In order to leave the place early. Yes. Come and see and come and witness the Lord's doing in your life. Yeah. Your life will never be the same. You only not you you'll be touched. But your business will be touched. Your life will be touched. Your family will be touched. You know, be the same again. Where are you? Where we are praying for you. That the Lord will help you to reach. Those who are not able to reach, you can send your $150. In Uganda, money is 600. In Kenya, it is 18,000. You can send it. And we shall send you your card. To go be the glory. For those with corsets, knee brace, knee collar, ah, we shall welcome you. Mm, don't worry. The Lord will give us a way to touch you. Because we are not going to touch you, the Lord will touch you. Get to know that you are not the one doing it. Speak the word of faith. Stand, Stand in faith. The Lord will bring it to pass. That day we are coming. It is this coming Thursday. On 24th. Come early. To go be the glory. Let's watch and see our sister. Rose Mualim from Kenya. At the best sister of Rose Mualim, we come from Kenya. Shiti wa chideri katonda. My name is Rose Mualim from Kenya. I have difficulty in walking fast, sitting for long, and I cannot squat due to knee pains which are both swollen due to arthritis i went for surgery they operated both, both knees and they tried to hold the ligaments with the screws and it, it failed this metals are still in the body i have to use this knee brace to support the knees and here is my report from a vital ray to confirm. On the screens of a television is this medical report from vital ray medical imaging in Nairobi, Kenya, which belongs to Sister Rosie Ndomi Mwalimo. This is why she was referred, first of all, by Dr. James Kabora to have an MRI done on her right knee joint following a previous trauma and dislocation with all four ligament rupture and persistent pain in this right knee. So when they did this MRI of the right knee, they found several abnormalities upon her. Like she has explained to us that previously she underwent an operation. So they found 